Elon Musk's new and insane partnership with US Space Force can successfully combat Russia. The SpaceX CEO and Pentagon are working to develop sophisticated space technology which can also be used for military purposes. Russia is at the risk of facing the US in war if it does not stop the Ukrainian invasion. Join me in this video today as we explore Elon Musk's insane partnership with the US Space Force that can militarily challenge Russia. SpaceX and Elon Musk are closing working with the US Space Force that was launched by President Trump on the 20th of December 2020. Air Force Commander General John Raymond was appointed as the head of the Space Force. The Space Force is the smallest branch of the United States military. It has just 77 operating vessels, which seems insignificant compared to the Air Force's 5,000. The majority of the space officers in the Space Force come from the U.S. Air Force. The Space Force is the sixth branch of the U.S. military. Though the details of the U.S. Space Force are scant, it is safe to assume that it has a top priority of protecting U.S. space assets from potential interference or aggression, and helping the nation maintain its long-held dominance in the space frontier. That is exactly where the interests of the SpaceX CEO and those of the Space Force merge, hence the partnership. They have teamed up in ensuring that U.S. security interests are safeguarded. Though a private company, the work ethics in SpaceX are very similar to that in the U.S. Air Force and Space Force. Both organizations also work closely as they deal with classified information. It is out of this that Elon Musk has been given a high security clearance by the U.S. government. The strong bond between the U.S. Air and Space Force can be seen as SpaceX has won many contracts from the Pentagon. The U.S. military has brought Elon on board as they want to work with the best brains. Jointly, the U.S. Space Force and SpaceX are working on developing an insane technology known as the Rocket Cargo. It is now time to consider what the Rocket Cargo is all about. Rocket Cargo is the brainchild of the United States Transportation Command, the Air Force Research Laboratory, and the United States Space Force. The program aims to develop the capability to send cargo to any part of the world at record speeds using rockets. This plan will involve using reusable rockets and space vehicles that are capable of propulsive landings at designated landing sites. But wait a minute, is it only SpaceX that has the capacity to develop reusable rockets? Now you see the reason why the US Space Force has to work with SpaceX. To a large extent, the idea of rocket cargo was stolen by the Air and Space Force from SpaceX. The SpaceX CEO has always had the goal and plans of transporting people and payloads to Mars after it becomes habitable. Keep in mind that Mars is 480 million kilometers away, you cannot just start imagining that distance. It is too far. One way can take like 7 months. So far, SpaceX has developed a gigantic rocket launcher that is known as the Starship which can carry 100 tons with a propellant capacity of 1200 tons. The US Space Force twisted Musk's idea to come up with a simpler version of transporting people and goods from one point of the Earth to another. That is the future. To be more precise, the near future. In simple terms, we will soon start traveling by rocket vehicles instead of aircrafts. But how will all this happen? It is simple. The rocket vehicles will travel through the Earth's low orbit which has almost zero resistance unlike airplanes that face resistance in the air. At such high altitudes, under such conditions, the Starship rocket will be able to move at incredible speeds of up to 27,000 kilometers per hour. That simply means that the rocket will travel faster than airplanes. To be more precise, a normal journey that normally takes 8 hours from New York while using a spacecraft will now take 29 minutes using the Starship rockets. What is even mind-boggling is that Starship will charge the same airline fees as an economy class for the same distance. But what is more important to the US Air and Space Force is how they can use the Pentagon's rocket cargo to combat Russia. With the technology, they are able to supply troops with supplies or reinforcements in any part of the globe in under one hour. That would go a long way to add to the military might of the United States. The US Space Force is ready to do all it takes to ensure that the US maintains its position as the superpower. The new technology will replace the Boeing C-17 Globemaster III that is used by the US Air and Space Force. It can carry the same payload as the Starship rocket, but it is much slower. A C-17 currently costs around $540,000 to be sent anywhere in the world, although flights can take up to 18 hours. The C-17 is currently in service even though it has been in production since 1991. 
Production for the C-17 ended in 2015 with just 279 units produced, and each one cost $218 million. Successfully developed, the Starship rocket will be a perfect replacement of Boeing C-17, with the Starship US Space Force can comfortably combat Russia. It is not just mere talk and imagination for the US Air and Space Force as they have a budget of $48 million to help them develop a high-speed rocket. It should, however, be noted that the main objective of the Pentagon is for the rocket to help the US armed forces but not for commercial transport. The insane partnership between SpaceX and US Space Force can be seen as SpaceX has won two contracts from the Pentagon that amount to $160 million. The first contract involves using SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets to launch US military craft, while in the second contract SpaceX is expected to build missile tracking satellites for the Department of Defense. The US military trusts SpaceX more than NASA as they have achieved quite a milestone in space technology. SpaceX was the first private company to successfully launch and return a spacecraft from Earth's orbit and the first to launch a crewed spacecraft, and dock it with the International Space Station ISS. In case of a nuclear war, Musk would not hesitate to help American allies against Russia. The SpaceX CEO has so far shown his support for Ukraine, who have been attacked by Putin's army. Elon Musk quickly agreed to provide Ukraine with Starlink stations after their internet supply was destroyed by the Russian troops. The tech billionaire assured Ukraine's first vice prime minister that he would help when he replied to a tweet saying, Starlink service is now active in Ukraine, more terminals en route. The Ukrainian government was grateful after receiving help from the tech billionaire as they made a brief tweet that reads, thanks, appreciate it. The Tesla CEO has also shown his solidarity with the people of Ukraine as he has instructed Tesla Motors to give free supercharging for all EVs in the area that is affected by the invasion. Elon Musk is so close to the Air and Space Force that they invited him as a guest to the Air Warfare Symposium back in 2020. The event is known as Pitch by the US Space Force. The Pitch Day event is a new type of procurement effort in which the military is giving small investments of less than $1 million each to young space companies developing technologies in which the Air Force is interested, such as satellite propulsion and Earth imaging devices. Lieutenant General John Thompson, commander of the Space and Missile Systems Center, was tasked to interview Elon Musk. The interview gives a lot of insight on how the US Space Force is working closely with SpaceX. The tech icon advised that the US Space Force must fully embrace innovation if they are to stand a chance against Russia and China. The good thing is that Elon can help the US military develop some of the best technologies in the military through SpaceX. Elon Musk also insisted that reusable launch vehicles are absolutely fundamental to achieving whatever space ambitions the military might have. Elon Musk's SpaceX has built a reputation for itself that has attracted the United States Department of Defense. There is no doubt that this partnership is aimed at protecting America and her allies. Together with SpaceX, the US Air and Space Force stands a better chance of defeating Russia in a military conflict. Do you think Russia should be afraid of the partnership between SpaceX and the US Space Force? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above.